better trade here. We're up to a block rain. That's all right. We're up to see Alan. He's got a block stormwater. So Alan is mates with Bruno and Fernando. And Bruno, I've cleared Bruno's drain and his brother Fernando's drain. Uh, if I can find those videos, I'll drop links in the descriptions below. Someone's just messaging me while I'm doing my intro. <laughs> all good. So we're going to head out there and see if we can get this one sorted for Alan. Uh, it sounds like it's going to be a tough one from the description over the phone. But let's have a crack and see what we can come up with. Right up. I'll see you when I get there. here at a stormwater job I've done some initial investigations that one just ran up towards the shed and I've marked where it goes and it's squashed that's squashed right there so I've marked that and that looks like squashed pipe see how it's pushed down and you can see up the top there so we're not getting through that. The rest isn't in terrible condition. There's a few tufts of tree roots, but really need that repaired first. And that will need to be repaired at some stage, but I think that's just picking up the shed and that rainwater tank. The main problems are stuff up here and have a look. Got a downpipe here. That just overflowed in the last lot of rain, flooded in inside there. You can't see much, it just goes straight to debris and zippy tires and stuff like that. So we need to attack that from here. And I think this is gonna run out here. Uh, there's another point down here. So we've got this pit, picks up that down pipe and then hangs a right this way. So it goes along there where that pink dot is, lines up with this other pink dot and we can't push it past here. So if that picks up that all in this area, that can explain part of the problem up this end. So we need to try and get that cleared, but I've got a feeling this whole pipe will run around here and out to where we're going towards that gate. But let's have a look here. I had a look at this one and you can see here, look at this. Right. Let's see if we can get these ones out while we're here could be part of the whole problem. Not causing the problem, it'd be more than this causing the problem, but look, look at that for a specimen. Right, we'll leave them there. Could be a trip hazard, but we'll put them up there. No one can trip over them then. Okay, so we've got another point there we can have a look down. And then when I go up from the curb, we'll go to this one at the moment. So the other problem is all these down pipes along here, everything's just overflowing. He said this one runs to the street. So I'll flick the camera up from the street. It's squashed in some sections and it goes straight to there. Right. Look at that squashed. That could be the entry point right there. Let's pull this back. You can see how out of whack and squash this pipe is. See all that? And just a long run of roots. We'll, we've got to have a go at the jetter to see if we can get through it and open it up. And then to the street we go. So if that's blocked there and that's picking this stuff up from this side of the house and just say that one there wraps around also we're going to have problems all through here and down there whether or not we can clear it all is, a, is another story let's go down let's fire up the jetter duck through here gotta watch out for brown snakes uh, handles off
lucky. I knew that troop hazard was there. Let's fire this up. Monster Penetrator is with us today, the Stegosaurus. The Toad. Cheesy Mad Ball. And Traffic Control Officer. Where did he go? Here he is. You can't be asleep on the job, mate. You gotta keep an eye on this corner in case a car comes around and wipes me out. We don't want that to happen. Okay, this is where we're gonna start from right here. Today, we're trying the axe first. Get a bit dirtier than that, that water. Here we go. Look at that. Big build up of tree roots. It's got to work. See if we can get through it. And hopefully that pipe's not squashed. If it's squashed, we don't get through it. Not squashed, we have good chance. I think it's squashed. <laughs> This thing just flowing out a little bit. Good old 
of low water pressure. It gets me every time. Okay. Now let's throw this camera up and see if I can work out any pictures yet. Okay, let's investigate. When I seen that pipe, I wasn't too confident. Um, I thought it was going to be uh, squashed. But I've been wrong before, and I will be wrong again. But if it's too squashed, we won't get anything through it properly. There they are. Let's have a close inspection. No. Nothing. Can't see anything. We're going to persist with the axe. Let's hopefully we can get some decent water pressure. this time. We're going a lot further. single barrel let's see if we can get it up there
Absolutely no water pressure, but look what we're chopping up. Look at it. Okay, you can see what I can see. The pipe isn't in the best condition for us. Um, there's two T's, they're full of roots. But let's see if we can just open up this main and just see if we can find out if there's any other problems before we make big decisions. I think that is. <laughs> Listen, 
be a hard they are and thick <laughs> there's still a heap of roots up there we're going to try and scoop them out i might have to just send this up get in behind them and then send the camera up just to confirm where i am see if i can get them out that way
we've got tree roots here. That they're a big bunch up further. Then we've got a junction here on the right. You can see those tree roots there. That's picking up, mark that, that's in front of one of the down pipes. So they'd be picking up a down pipe. And you can see that's just, just chockers there. And you can see they've laid that storm flex, it's all squashed. That's just one long root grown from that other entry point. So it's all squashed. It's all run straight through the middle of the garden too, I suppose. Yeah. Under the footpath and then to each, each, each one's hooked up. Yeah. And that should be our other junction around here, I think. Or do we go past it? And there's that other junction, and I reckon that's the one heading around to the right and uh, going up the side of the house and to that other point where the downpipe's all um, cut open and yeah, overflowing. Yeah. And then you can just... You can just see the condition of the pipe, it's just squashed everywhere. So we pulled the pin at the front there for a bit. Um, we're going to have a bit of a chat and reevaluate if we keep persisting or if just bite the bullet and redo the whole stormwater. It's in pretty poor condition. It's something I leave up to the client. I don't, I don't push either way. Um, whatever they choose to do, uh, it's their house, their money. That's that's my way of looking at it. Um, we're going to have a go here. See if we can go that way. See if we can find out where this one goes. I haven't been able to see where this goes as yet. Sending this one that way.
there's just zero water pressure. Makes it very difficult. But that's not moving. So this is still holding water. So there, there's a major problem. I couldn't get past through, couldn't even budge on that point. And I reckon I was around where that pink dot was. I had a quick go, I didn't record it. I just had a quick go at this downpipe. I've given a bit of a clean up. Um, I got further than there, but I reckon the water was stirring up a bit and the jetter was probably going that way, um, up towards there because I doubt it was going that way because I can't see where it's come out anywhere. And it doesn't come out because when I fill up that full of water, it fills that pit up, so they're tied in. It's very difficult to know the exact problem in a situation like this. Um, that's an add-on, that extension is. And I reckon something's happened when they did that add-on. If they disconnected the pipe and haven't reconnected it, yeah, this could just go to ground somewhere and I've got a feeling that that's what the problem is um, You don't know. You know, sometimes when you dig them up you end up finding out what's going on, but um, Yeah, you don't really know when you're, you're above ground. You're only making it having a bit of a guess But we've had a chat about some options. There's a fair bit of work to redo this. There's quite a few problems um, This one here runs down and through and that's why I think all that on that side tied in um, that went to roots under this tree that then went down towards the street where we were that's all tidied up that all runs up here roots there roots there that's a bit clearer uh, roots here on this branch line um, and then we couldn't get past this point here so I spoke to Alan I said we can start from the back end and see if we can start to work our way through and this is where I leave it up to the client you know chewed up a fair bit of time oh, I've been here for over three hours just trying to get that uh, three hours and 40 minutes that exactly so like I've chewed up a fair bit of time and I've only got this far um, so now I'll leave it up to them if they want to put, put more money on the table and keep persisting with it or start looking at alternatives which is just start digging it up like there is a fair bit of work uh, something for him to think about I've given him all the information so he, he'll let me know what he wants to do <laughs> Give us a sec, mate. <laughs> From the team and myself, right up. See you on the next one.